Good evening everybody and welcome once again to the parish of All Saints Harrow Wheels. I'm Father John Barker, the Vicar of All Saints. Uh, at the moment our worship continues to be online. We're hoping, hoping, hoping that soon we'll be able to return to All Saints for Public Worship but we must be uh, patient for a week or two more. And so this evening we will have um, that beautiful and mu I know much loved service from the Book of Common Prayer, Night Prayer or Compline. I invite you, if you've got the time and if you've got the wish, to join us. Um, the worship will last maximum 20 minutes. It will begin in a few minutes at around uh, 6 p.m. UK time. And as we prepare for worship, our director of music, Diane Tiggers, uh, each week produces uh, music for us to listen to and the first one we'll listen to this evening is O oh Lord Our God. Now. I'm now longing for light and I hope the sound will improve. Now I really hope that the uh, audio is much better. My apologies for that during the introductory music. And my apologies for Diane because she's worked very hard on, the, uh, on preparing the music. My wife's just given me the nod to say that the audio has improved. My deep, deep apologies. But anyway, it just shows that um, nothing is perfect, nobody is perfect. 
only God is perfect and that's why I invite you now to join me and worship God as we say night prayer complete from the book of common prayer. I greet you all in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist, steadfast in the faith. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Let's keep silent just for a moment and reflect on the day which, in England at least, is now coming to an end. Give thanks for the good things in today and share with God any cares, and concerns that burden our hearts. And now I invite you to join me in confessing our, our sorrow for our imperfections. As we pray, we confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. And now our night hymn, before the ending of the day, sung as always for us by the lay clerks from Bath Abbey. Amen. Our night psalm, the first six verses of Psalm 31. In thee, O Lord, have I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in thy righteousness. 
Bow down thine ear to me, make haste to deliver me. And be thou my strong rock and house of defence, that thou mayest save me. For thou art my strong rock and my castle. Be thou also my guide and lead me for thy name's sake. Draw me out of the net that they have laid privily for me. For thou art my strength. Into thy hands I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our scripture reading this evening is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Hebrews. Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead... Our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. that which is well-pleasing in his sight. Let's stop just for one minute and reflect on that this evening. We spend a lot of time in our lives working out what other people will think about us, how people will see us, what their reaction would be if we said that, if we did that, if we didn't go to that meeting, would we be missed? If we do wear those clothes, will they be appropriate? What a waste. Thinking about what other people will think. What is important and what does have value is that which is well pleasing in the sight of God. So my suggestion for this evening as we move towards the fifth Sunday of Lent, the beginning of the Passion of our Lord, the last two weeks as we approach the cross, and finally the glory of the empty tomb. My recommendation, my suggestion for those two weeks is let's spend these coming days not thinking about what other people will think, about what we do or what we say or what we don't do. Let us focus instead on what God will think of what we say, what we do and what we don't do. And let us seek to work in us that which is well-pleasing in the sight of God. Amen. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth, I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, unto the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O, God, o Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Our Gospel Canticle, the Nunc Dimittis. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. The wonderful words. Lord, now let us, thou thy servant, depart in peace according to thy word, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, 
world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. And now I invite you to join in our night prayers. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. As our Saviour taught us, so we may pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our fathers, to be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. And now in this time of anxiety, as we continue to live with the reality and the uncertainty of coronavirus, we add an additional prayer. Praying for all of those, well, praying first for all of us, for we are all affected by coronavirus. We pray, Lord, that you will help us to accept that we cannot control everything that happens in this, your world. May we place our trust in you to guard us, guide us, keep us, and protect us. And next we pray for those who are directly affected by coronavirus, those who are sick at this time, the families of those who have died and whose lives will never be the same again. For doctors, nurses and carers, all working continually with scant regard for their personal safety, caring for those who need their love and their skills. And then we pray for those from our parish list who especially need your love and care at this time. We continue to pray for Isabel Dworeski, for Asha Solianki, for Catherine Jones, for Siobhan Renson, for Noel Bevan, Sheila Ward, Ray Padoni, Roger Siswick, Jane Slade, Margaret Vintner, Doris Weed. And finally in these prayers, we give you thanks for the continuing recovery after the tragic road accident in Azerbaijan, which resulted in the death of her brother. We give you thanks that Celine Rabath is recovering her health. And we pray for her and for her family. May they have strength to rebuild their lives together. These prayers we ask in the name of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our evening collect, be present, O merciful God. Protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest, for it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. Abide with us, O Lord, for it is toward evening and the day is far spent. As the watchmen look for the morning, so do we look for thee, O Christ. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. And now may the almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost, preserve us and bless us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And so once again, thank you for joining us in worship this evening. As I promised, it's a very simple, it's a very short service, but it is our chance at the end of the day to give thanks to God for his goodness and to share with him our worries, our cares, our problems. And so I wish you a peaceful night's rest. Uh, I know uh, the Bob family are with us, worshipping with us from Wisconsin in the United States. Their day is far from spent. And uh, my dear friend Jono is wor worshipping with us from Romania, two hours ahead of us. It's almost time for night rest there. We worship God together in different countries at different times. It doesn't matter where we are. What does matter is that we worship God. And so, I wish you a very good night's rest, and I invite you, if you wish and if you will, to join us tomorrow. It's, it's, it's a Sabbath. It's the fifth Sunday of Lent, the Sunday that used to be called Passion Sunday. We begin our journey towards Jerusalem with our Lord. Uh, our worship will be at 10 o'clock UK time, and it will be a Eucharist with hymns. And so I invite you to join us live on Facebook or you'll be able to see the video at any time after that on Facebook and on YouTube. Both cases, our channel, All Saints Harrow Wheels. So for now, I leave you for this evening with Diane playing again. I hope the quality will be better this time. Father, I place into your hands. Mm -hmm.